Hello! Today we're going to calibrate a pH probe for various experiments, titration, or measuring the pH of solutions or buffers. So we'll start by turning the micro lab unit on. The green button is shown. And now we can double click on the MicroLab app. We will say OK to our MicroLab experiment. And then what we want to do is add a sensor. The sensor that we'll be adding is the pH or dissolved oxygen probe. And we will be using this connector on the MicroLab, and we're going to be measuring the pH. Now we hit Next. Now the pH probe measures by millivolts, but we have to retrain it each time to figure out what the pH is associated with what millivolt reading. So we're going to perform new calibration. So. First, we will add a calibration point. We are going to start with pH 4 buffer, which is this red solution right here. So, I will take my DI water and my waste container, and it's always good technique to rinse off the probe between solutions. So let me take the probe out of the pH 7 buffer and give it a bit of a shake. And now I can put it in the pH 4 buffer. And what you see is that it's taking a moment to adjust. The um, millivolts has actually changed significantly. Let me give it a little stir just to make sure it's leveling. And at this point, the measured value is not changing by very much. So I can enter 4.00. .00. That will be my first point and say, okay. Now I will add my next calibration point. So I'm going to take this out of the pH 4 buffer, give it a rinse and a bit of a shake, and now put it in this yellow pH 7 buffer. I hope you can see that okay from the camera. There we go. So we'll put that right down. And as you can see on the screen, there's been a dramatic change in the voltage because we're at a different buffer solution. And it seems to have leveled out pretty much. So I can enter the value 7.00. Okay. We have one last calibration point to add, and that would be the blue solution, which is pH 10 buffer. So Rinsing it off and putting it in pH 10 solution. Okay. Once again, the reading has changed dramatically because we're in a new solution. And you notice that at this point the voltage reading is negative, but it's holding reasonably steady to the fourth or fifth decimal. So I can add 10.00 and say OK. Now I will make a first order linear fit and you notice it's beautiful. The correlation coefficient is 0.999. So I will accept and save this calibration and the units for this variable will be pH. And I will save it as a That will be fine, and I will replace the old file. Okay, I am now finished. Now, in order to read what the pH meter is sensing, I'm going to drag it here. So one of the important things to do after you've calibrated is to go back and measure your solutions and make sure that they are indeed reporting the pH accurately. So let me start with pH 4 buffer. Okay. 
and you can see that it's reasonably close to 4. It's reading 3.963. That's good. Now let's try our pH 7 solution. Give it a minute to stabilize. All right, it seems to be stable at 7.025. Okay, how about our last one? Let's see how close we got. All right, that is reasonably close to the pH 10 buffer. That's reading 9.995. So now we know that we've done a good job calibrating our pH buffer and or our pH probe and that we can go on with our next part of our experiment.